Hey guys, it's Drew again. So here we are uh, on the road, started at what, 5.30 this morning, on the way up to Hickory, North Carolina, going to a card show. We have been looking forward to this show for a long, long time. And a, a, a friend yesterday asked, you know, what are you looking for? Good luck trying to find a card. And the truth is, might find a card or two. Really just looking to spend some time with some really good friends, including my good buddy, Jared. Hey guys. Doing the driving. So Jared, if you're not familiar, is average braids average Braves fan so check his channel out for sure but uh, yeah we've been driving for over an hour now and really looking forward to it got a little bit longer to go meeting up with Jake Will a couple other people hopefully so let's see what the show's got to offer it's gonna be awesome Two hours in, still going, still excited, but uh, we've had a good time just chatting, talking about anything, baseball mainly, of course, cards. Uh, Jared's got some potential hopes for today on pickups, but I think the most part you're looking for dollar cards of Acuna, right? Yep. yep. I've got a, I've got 87 one dollar bills with me, hoping to cash those in and maximize my Acuna stash today. We will not get into where he comes up with so many ones, but uh, that's a different whole channel. Anyway, so most po most people that collect don't like the 55 Bowman first. It's just a set that they don't get. But the more you get into vintage, the more you really start to see like the photography. All right, so here's one for you. What do these four players have in common? Mickey Mantle, Satchel Paige, Charlie Geringer, and Dustin Pedroia. Satchel Page and Pedroia? Both of them. Both, Both of, them, of them, plus the other two guys. Mm -hmm. A hint? Okay. Walla Walla, Washington. Oh. Just pulled in. We're here. What, three hour drive? Looking forward to it. Super excited. Let's go see what we can find. Let's do it. All right. All right, you ready to go? All right, Jake Pam. There's only one picture a day. He's already taken. And I already took the picture. Hey guys, so show's over, had a blast. Um, I'm gonna wait and show off my pickups uh, back when I'm at home because there's a few things I don't have here. But really the biggest thing I picked up is uh, I actually bought a card room. And uh, you may know this from another channel. Uh, it looks good. Um, it's filled with some really cool stuff and I really can't wait to get some of this stuff out so I can start putting Dodger stuff in. But uh, seriously, had a great time. Um, we didn't, sh I never shoot enough video footage of the tables or anything else. And again, I didn't shoot a whole lot, but had a blast and, uh, two great friends. Um, you got probably know at least one of them, uh, if not both of them, uh, you already met Jared on the ride up and, uh, but this is actually Jake, uh, Jake's Le legends never die. This is his house. I've been here before an insane room, insane collection and an insane friend. So, uh, Jake, you can come on in and, uh, and then of course, Jared, if you, if all three of us squeeze in here. I was well, just standing in the front. You know, you guys are way bigger than me. That's true. That's true. Actually, oh man, you do look tiny. Yeah, stand next to you guys. I am tiny. That's true. <laughs> anyway, what about the show? What do you think? I mean, we all went with different thoughts and different plans, but overall, what do you think? I thought it was great. I had a large stack of dollar bills mm -hmm. that I was able to turn into a brick of Acunas. So happy to. Happy with that, definitely. Yeah, definitely fun. Yeah. Um, the running joke we have is Jared's like always missing in the bushes, and uh, he did not disappoint. Many a time, I found a card that he was looking for, and I'm like, dude, 
and he's gone. So uh, <laughs> that was very normal. But uh, kind of the funny story when you see the pickups, because of that, actually is why I picked up the big card, which you'll see at the end of this video, what I got. So You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate you being you. But uh, well, Jake? I had fun at the show. Uh, it was great. Once you guys got there, uh, there's a running joke with me and the Drew. Uh, that I try and avoid the man. I was in there early, uh, walked in just like I was a dealer, and got into the show an hour early. So that was that was cool. Uh, I'd looked at like three cores of the floor before you guys got there, which was awesome because then I was able to say, "Hey, Drew, you know the cards you're looking for. I know there's three or four here, there, the other. Mm -hmm. um, same thing for you. You know, already trying to scope out some some brave stuff and some different things you might be interested in. So that was cool to be able to help y'all yeah. once you got there." Um, but had a great time. I'm glad you guys was a blast. were over there. And guys, if you ever, ever get to go to a show with friends, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the National. It doesn't have to be Strongsville. Go to your local show. Have somebody. It makes it so much better. It's just absolutely better to walk around, talk, goof off, mess around, whatever. So we had a blast. So I'm going to stop it here and then pick up back in my card room, and I will show you all my pickups and a couple of the stories that we picked along the way. So here we go. So it's been a few days since I got back and I finally get a chance to film this and I really want to show what I picked up because I don't pick up much, but I did pick up some stuff at this show. So first, uh, a couple of small things. So the first thing is there was this one booth and he had a whole bunch of really kind of cool eclectic stuff. I love those types of booths, not just cards or anything else, but, and I was looking uh, at his tables and he had this, the ba a baggie that had something in it and he only wanted three bucks for it. And I'm like, yeah, I'll take that for three bucks. And I wasn't looking for it, but I got this really cool book and it was published in 1964 and um and it's one of those scholastic scholastic books you know you would buy when you go to the book fair as a kid and uh you know I'm not a mickey mantle fan and not a not a yankee fan by any means but uh but still it's in pristine condition it's really great and uh for three bucks i'm like yeah i'll take that because it's got great artwork it's it's very vintage feel and uh i thought that was really cool and then uh there was another booth and jake was looking at an item he was actually talking and negotiating a price on something that he'll share in his pickup video uh but while he was standing there i was standing there watching him i'm flipping through a book uh, a binder that just had random cards in it and i was just kind of flipping because i was waiting for him and uh i flipped in and there was a, a page that said three dollars each and I thought again for three dollars so I paid three for the book and uh, for this card I used to have it and I thought it's a great card and for three bucks I can't pass it up but I was able to find this uh, this Johnny Bench and you know you guys know uh, this this card I mean I'm sure you do and I love it and I thought yeah for three dollars I'll take that so I'm doing really well you know again two two items that I picked up but the reason I was there was I was hoping to get my 55 Jackie and um, and I had uh, actually um, made a custom piece for something uh, at woodworking and sold it and and my goal was I wanted to try to get my Jackie for the price that I had sold the item for and um, so that was my goal so there was cards there that were over that price uh, that were in higher grade or, or right within there and then there were some cards that were within my price range but but just I didn't like them because of the condition of the card and I just I wanted a, I wanted that sweet spot you know a card that you really enjoyed looking at but still within a certain price range and uh, we had looked for hours and uh, finally we're standing at one table this guy's got a really high-end stuff and he's got roots and cobs and and just uh, t206s and, and beautiful cards and stuff and 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 around the corner uh, will and i are kind of standing there and we're just sort of chatting and and i had given up to the fact that i was going to find the jackie that day and I thought well you know nationals coming i could do it there i was really hoping to get it there with um with the guys there in hickory but but you know it is what it is and uh but as we're standing there will notices that the guy has a complete 1955 set on the table in a binder and he points it out to me and i said i said well i'm sure he's got the jackie so i flipped and sure enough the page was in there dealer comes over and he's like uh you know what can i do for you guys i said oh well you know i came here i was looking for this jackie i'm pointing at it in the book and I said, but there's just not one here that fits my price range or whatever. He said, well, let me look at it. I said, well, I'm not going to ask you to break your setup or anything. You know, I didn't, I wouldn't want to do that. And he said, well, let, you know, let me look. So he takes the card out and he looks it over. And there's some condition issues, but, uh, but I mean, it just looks so clean uh, in the binder. And he said, well, what do you think? And he gives it to me. And I said, well, you know, from a technical side, it would probably grade a one. He said, I would agree. And he said, well, let me look up VCP. And I was like, again, I'm not asking you to, to break up your set. And he said, well, everything's for sale. You just got to find the right price. I was like, okay. And and I'm thinking, well, you know, he's a dealer. He's going to break up a set. You know, he's going to come in uh, 
probably high. And he says, well, you know, VCP is X on this card. And I knew what it was because I had been looking at it. And, uh, and I really thought he was going to go up. He said, well, because I'm breaking up my set, I'll do it for a little bit more. And, uh, but he, he shocked me. He said, I'll tell you what, uh, I'll do it for less. And he gave me a price that was even lower than VCP and he's breaking up a set. And I'm like, seriously? So I said, let me look at it again. So I'm looking at it really close and now I'm showing the guys and I'm like, you know what? I'll take it. And I did. I, I actually picked up my 55 Jackie and it's beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. I wanted this card. Uh, you know, it's got the condition issues that made it affordable and you can't really see them. I mean, you can study it, but who cares? And why would you? Because I didn't go there looking for soft corners or I looked, I went there looking for this card. If it happened to have soft corners, well, that's part of this card. And, uh, it's got everything I like on it. It's got the great color. It's got insane registration on it. And, uh, it absolutely is perfect and fits within what I wanted. It fit within my budget. Uh, but here's the thing is, it didn't just fit in within my budget. It was actually $100 less than what my budget was. And I'm like, for the first time, I'm like, I got money to spend. Like now I was trying to get under this budget and I had a hundred bucks left over. I'm walking around and I'm on cloud nine. I'm excited, you know? And I go and there's this guy that has a, has something at his table and I'm like, no way that looks so awesome. And, uh, so I, I start talking to him about it and it's, it's, um, he tells me it's 150 bucks and I was like, ah, I don't know. You know, I didn't, again, I could have done it and I have no idea what the value of this thing is. And, and uh, I said, well, you know, I don't know. And I said, I came here for one thing and one thing over and I just got it. And I was again, I'm excited. I said, here, look. And I showed him, I showed him the Jackie and he's like, oh, that's great. And I've got my Brooklyn, you know, shirt on and, uh, and I'm showing him this thing. And the item I'm looking at is a Brooklyn Dodgers item. And, uh, and he said, well, I'll, I'll work a deal with you. And I'm like, well, let me, let me think and, and, uh, back and forth. And, and finally I said, look, I'm going to be honest. I came here with this amount of money to buy this Jackie. I got the Jackie and I have a hundred dollars left. Would you take a hundred bucks for it? And he's like, that's exactly what I want for it. So he went from 150 down to a hundred and I really got two big things. I got my Jackie Robinson and I got this really cool pennant and I'm not a pennant collector. I don't even know if I got a deal for it, but you know what? At the time, a hundred bucks is exactly what I wanted to pay. It's exactly what I had. And that this is worth every penny of a hundred dollars. If you tell me this is a $500 pennant, I don't care. If you tell me it's a $20 pennant and I got ripped off, I don't care. Because to me, this is exactly what going to a card show or going anywhere and finding cool stuff that you don't know about. It was worth what I paid for it to me at the time. So I don't really care what other people are paying. This is awesome. And just look at this thing again. Now I've got this really cool uh, item. It's probably from the '40s, uh, and it's in it's in you know shape where it's got it's got the the Mookie Chilson pinholes in it, which I love. Uh, it's just it's just phenomenal. The color's great. The the character's great. I love it. So that's pretty much my pickups. And I also got some gifts from my friends, and uh, just being with them that was the gift. But you know it was really cool. But Jake, who's a big hat guy. Um, Jake got me this, and this is a, a vintage era um, replica hat of the Brooklyn Dodgers from the 1913, 14, I can't remember the year, but uh, but I love this, and I've seen these before, super cool. And then Will, knowing my heart, Will got me this magazine, and this magazine is so cool, you know, and uh, it's it's talking about the rivalry between the Giants and the Dodgers, and uh, and it's got this great, you know, picture of Jackie, and, and this uh, phenomenal picture of Pee Wee Reese, you know, jumping and throwing again. So, you know, I had a great day and it had less to do with the car I picked up or the Bennett or whatever. It had everything to do with everything. It was an experience. I loved every moment of it. Being with the guys was phenomenal. And I just really appreciate them, you know, taking the time and doing this. And we had a phenomenal time. I can't wait to, uh, to go to Cleveland and just experience this with so many more people. And uh, anyway, there's my pickups. There's my video. It's kind of weird, but... I hope you guys appreciate it. I hope you liked it. And uh, until next time, you guys be good. Walla Walla, Washington.